Hello guys, now I'm here on the bridge and I'm going to replace the glass of my radar angle indicator on the port side. As you can see, this radar indicator glass is already broken and I'm going to replace it with a new one. And on the other side is the RPM indicator of the engine speed from 0 to 150 RPM. And as you will find here, my glass is already cracked and we have received new spare and i'm going to replace it with a new one and here with me is the new alive glass this glass is delivered in china i'm going to install a new glass as you will find inside i have here this is a new glass it has two and I'm going to use one and this is the glass that I'm going to put this is the glass and this is the rudder indicator glass and I'm going to remove all the screws and after removing all the screws I'm going to take out the glass the glass maker is Osaka Nonotani Seiki. Now I just loosen all the screws and I just remove the glass and I'm going to clean the surrounded surface so that I can put the glass evenly on the surface. Now I just remove the dial indicator to see the lights inside and here is the this type light from which it being illuminated during a night time this is a light as you can see inside and you will find also here that there is a what you call a dimmer potentiometer this is a dimmer potentiometer resistor from which you can vary the light being illuminated during night time here with is the old and new glass and I just measure it it has the same dimensions and here with me also the AB and helping me to remove and put back a new glass on the rudder indicator this is a new glass now I just putting it and I will screw it in and that's it here is the video from which I just remove the glass and you will find there is o-ring gasket that o-ring gasket purpose is to prevent any moistures or gases penetrating inside of my rudder angle indicators as you might see the glass is already broken and here with me the AV assisting me in replacing this glass over. This AB is now very happy because he can see the rudder indicator very clear during day and night time. As you will find, I just cleaning all the surfaces around so that once I put the o-ring gasket, it can evenly flatten and evenly put on the surface in a very nice condition take note the rudder angle is from 0 to 40 degrees and now I just putting a new glass and I'm expecting the captain the navigating officers and AB is happy looking at it very nice this is our ship and we are moving and sailed at China Sea going to Ningbo, Susan, China and you will find down everybody is busy as you will find outside the wind is very strong so that I just put a voice over on my video so that you can clearly understood what I am talking about. This is the life at sea of an ETO 
or electrician on board. While I'm busy working on bridge wing, the deck also is busy in closing our hatch. This hatch is made to close and operated by a, by a hydraulic system. This is how our hatch cover on cargo hold is being closed. As you will find, they are trying to close it and preparing to go rest because it's already 5 o'clock in the afternoon. As you will find and see here, I just fixed a new glass on my rudder indicator and this is having a degree from 0 to 40 degrees on the port side and on the other side it has 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 30, 35 and 40 degrees. This is the rudder indicator as it moves. This is uh, manipulated by the rudder angle driven by steering gear of our ship. And as you can see, our ship is moving, going to the port side. And our ship tail, as you will find, it has forming a curve because we have a rather movement 2 degrees on the port side and that arrowhead is our ship's forward movement and the arrow tail of my rudder indicator is our ship's aft side and you will find here we have a lot of fishing boat this is a china sea that's why our navigating officers and watch keeper av is always at the bridge looking away from which our ship is approaching if there is a fishing boat like this our ship is trying to maneuver manually so that any risk of having a collision will be prevented this is a china sea as you will find it is very clean very nice to look we have a good weather here and you will find a tail of our ship it has a straight line then forming almost a curved line because we are trying to escape and we try our ship not to collide with those fishing boats around at China Sea. You see, this is a fishing boat being detected and seen by our radar X band and radar S band. Also, you can see these ships. On our at this our ship is now moving with rpm of 101 revolution per minute with knots of 12 to 13 knots our weather now is very nice as you will find the sky here it's forming like this almost same with our ship tail traces at sea so guys please do like and share my vlogs this is the rpm indicator from which i also replace a new glasses on it i just remove the glass clean the surrounded silicones and then after cleaning the surrounded silicone by scraping with a cutter i just put back evenly the new glass as you can see this is the old and new glass and I just clean the surrounded silicon so that no moisture or any gases coming inside of my RPM indicator take note that the RPM indicator and rudder indicator has a uh, 
this type light and as you will find here I have here uh, dial indicator and there is a very fine coil from which when the current is pressed on it it will deflected which correspond to the main engine revolution now uh, I'm just scraping it as you do as you can find here I'm doing to make sure that all dirt or rush must be removed all paints must be removed so we are able to prevent the moisture or gases penetrating Herwin is a new glass and we are need to put it very carefully so that we can do it in a very nice way and without any problems on it but then again after passing several fishing boat our ship is encountering crossing fishing boats on forward side so that our navigating officer is busy again to keep our ship away from those fishing boats which is sailing to and crossing to our ship's heading this is my abyss and this is my navigating officers keep watching and putting our ship in a safe navigation condition hello second mate oh, too much fishing boat coming oh, oh that's why they are manually controlling the ship's movement from port side going to starboard from starboard going to port side Kita ko ang lakas ng paling eh. Ay guys, parang biglang gumalaw yung radar ah. She will find on our X radar band. This is our ship, and we have several ships. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. On front of our ship, we have fifteen ships, and those are the fishing boats. This is indicated also on our S band radar. There are 15 boats. Speak in Chinese. Ni hao ma, pang yao, my friend. ship able to move out and those are the ship from outside we will see those are the ship one two three those are the fishing boat ship still in front side we have plenty of ship Our ships is approaching too many ships on forward. That is how we are navigating the sea. Fishing boat, as you will find, too 
Thomas fishing boat come across on our vessel. Here also have the other side. Huh? 